Creo Parametric 4.0. This is the first lecture, and we're going to cover a series of simple parts, put them together, and then create a drawing. It's a general overview of some of the system capabilities. Once you have Creo on your screen and you've opened it, we're going to start off by selecting a working directory. And in my case, I'm going to go into the directory I've used for this book and the series of parts for it. You'll notice the screen does not fill. If you want to use a full screen, you can just double click on the top, as with all Windows products. And that's your option. Later, we'll see that some commands do pop up over here on the right hand side. But in general, I do like to work with the full screen. Now, after we selected our working directory, we're going to start our new part. And the part is a simple pin, and it's one inch diameter by five inches long. So click on New, type in the name, click OK, or middle mouse button. And this is what we're going to see on our screen. And normally, you want to go into your View tab and turn on your tags so that you can see the datum plane names on here. The next thing that's nice to do is usually you want to see everything in your model tree. And the model tree is over here on the left hand side. So we're going to just turn everything on. And every time you start a new uh, session and many times a new part or a new assembly or drawing, you have to do this every time. You can have your system set up to do it automatically, but a lot of people don't want everything shown. So it's kind of up to the system manager what they're going to display in the model tree to start off with. Now we're going to sketch on a datum plane. We're going to pick the front datum plane. It's kind of like a sheet of paper. And if you don't move your cursor, it'll just come up with these options. And one of them is extrude. If you do move your cursor and hit your right mouse button, you get extra options, which we don't need. But we're just going to go and click on extrude anyway. And this is going to give us, it's like a sheet of paper. And if we go to the sketch view, we can look at it in 2D. And right mouse button, and I'm going to click on circle, select the middle, come out, click again with my left mouse button, and then my middle mouse button. And when I do, I get the dimension here. Now we know this is going to be one inch, so I'm going to double click, type in one, and hit enter. Now on my keyboard, I can go Control D to put this into a standard orientation. It's triometric. I'm going to rotate it with my middle mouse button, and then with my right mouse button, you'll see that these are the options that are coming up automatically. So Control D puts it back into like a 3D view. Now, right mouse button, I want to finish this command. So I'm going to save it. If the sketch is done, I could also go way up here to the top, the ribbon, and do that. Click OK. It's going to put a very large or lengthy pin in there, the distance or the, the length here. We only want this to be 5. So we can type there, and we can also refit it. And in some cases, you still have to zoom up. So there's also the ribbon here where we could have typed in 5 without having to go through zooming up and down. Now, I can click on my middle mouse button or check. And then I'm going to refit. And there is my pin. Now, one of the things I might want to add, and you go over here and I can click on one of my edges. And let's say I want to put a round on that edge. And let's make it uh, 0.1. It's kind of big, but that's OK. We'll be able to see it better. Middle mouse button to finish, or you can go up here and check. Now, on the back here, if I go and I click on it, that edge, by the way, if I accidentally click on the feature, that's OK. I can move my cursor and then click on the edge. And in this time, let's, uh, let's put another choice here, an edge chamfer. And it'll default to the same size I used on the round. I can change that if I want but I'm going to leave it like it is. So you'll see that I have a round and a chamfer on the two sides. Now, if I'm in my view command here, I can go out to my model command on the ribbon. And every time I change the ribbon, the options for the right mouse button are going to change. 
So let's say I just rotate around with my middle mouse button and then right mouse button and I go standard orientation. That is the same thing as saying uh, the control D. In other words, you want to put it into triometric. Now, the last thing we'll do here is we'll go to our view and to our appearances and we'll change the color. There's all kinds of options in here. We won't get too obsessed with it. We'll just pick a color, select on the part, middle mouse button. Now, you can also, if you select a color, whatever it is, let's go to a different color. And if you hit middle mouse button without selecting anything, you can still go over here and select your pin and then pick on the color swatch. And it'll give you that color. Now, you want to make sure you always save. Save or Control S. Um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I've got this pin part saved many times. But I'm going to put it in the orientation I want, and then I would save it at this point. This concludes the first part video.